Okay, everybody, we are back. Oh my goodness. My computer decided to restart itself. Thank the Lord that it's saved. Uh, before anything, uh, uh, I still, um, during that time, I tried to find if anything, if I could go back, but I can't, so sorry about that. Anyway, let's continue. <clears throat> my parents had a fight. My dad's a penis. Okay, everything seems right with the world. Even though she raised her voice, my dad wordlessly began walking back to the car, um, disinterested. Yep, we're back. Don't mind him, honey. I think that your grandfather's disinterested. Really Excuse affected me. him. Why don't we get back home for now? You can go ahead to the car, Mom. I think I need some time alone with Grandpa. Oh, of course. Take all the time you need. She gave me a quick hug and hurried after my dad. I looked around the funeral grounds, which was completely empty, save for the sullen look great sullen looking grave that was laid in front of me. I'm sure that if grandpa were in charge of arranging all of this, it would have been much different. It was blatantly obvious that my dad was in charge of the whole event. Who else would bury their own family the same day they pass away? Oh wow. Everyone knew my grandfather's love for toys, and yet the grave was a mere stone slab on the ground, wood of any children's toys. My dad didn't even bother putting flowers. His disdain for my grandfather was also pitiful. Sorry, Grandpa. I tried to force out some words, but the only thing that came out was a choke sob. <laughs> you, you told me to stay strong, but right now, I'm the farthest from it. I like that one time, a long time ago. Grandpa! Oh, it's so good to see you again, sweetie. I was swept into a giant bear hug, and we both laughed as he swung me around like an airplane. It was one of my favorite things about seeing my grandfather. The way he greeted me, I liked my father. My grandfather was loving and playful, even as I grew older. Sorry that Daddy couldn't be here today. He said that he wasn't feeling too good again. It was always been like that. Dad missed every visit to Grandpa's house, citing that he was busy with work or wasn't feeling well. Is that so? Well, that's okay. Daddy can come around next time. And you're here, right? Mm, yeah, so what are we doing today, Grandpa? Mommy says that there's a new... um. Dessert cafe open in town. Maybe we could go. Oh, I would love to. But I've been so busy with the company these days. We're actually working on a little something. Would you like to see? Yes! Oh, is that a toy? It is. I was designing a new line of them. But oh, that I feel deep like bass. something's missing. You don't think you could help me out, could you? Of course! He placed the toy in my hands with a smile, and I inspect it carefully. It was beautifully crafted, and obviously a lot of work was put into it. There was one thing, though. So, what do you think? This toy had a penis. <laughs> no, okay. Um, hmm, I think the heart on its chest should lighten up when you hug it. It'll be like it's alive, and it can be like a little nightlight before you sleep. He stroked his chin, chin considering my input while nodding his head. After a few moments of silent deliberation, he turned to me with a chuckle. That's a great idea! I'll get to changing it right away. You're always like my little lucky charm, dear. You always know what to add to make the perfect toy. <laughs> well, I hope I can be like you one day, Grandpa. You want to make toys as well? Mm-hmm. Well, making people happy is the best feeling in the world. I don't know if I want to make toys when I grow up, though. Don't worry too much about it. You have plenty of time to decide. Besides, you should do what makes you happy as well. That makes sense. Daddy doesn't think of it the same way, though. Your father. I'm sure he just wants the best for you. I'm not so sure about that. Sweetie, look at me. He bent down to look at me, eye level, with a serious look on as his face. As much as your father may say something that doesn't make sense now, you must remember that he's always thinking about you. He loves you. There's no doubt about that. And you need to love him just as equally. Oh, whoops. I hit a freaking box. Mm-mm. 
I don't hate Daddy. I really do love him. I don't know why he's like this, though. Your father and I have had some difficulties with each other in the past. But it's nothing that you should be concerned about. I had heard tidbits of this from my mother and various other people. The only people who had stayed quiet were my father and grandfather. Both of them refrained from saying a word on the subject matter. But it was clear of whatever happened set up the wall between them. Is this too loud? Let me cut it down. There we go. It's hard, though, trying to pretend as if nothing were wrong. However, no matter what, you have to stay strong. You're a big girl already, and, well, there'll come a day when it seems like it's you against the world. But always remember that your family and friends will be here with you. Let's take a second to listen to the music. Oh my goodness, it is beautiful. It's not my music, okay, so don't you dare copyright it. Freaking A, I forgot to turn on my freaking Skype sound. Let me do that. There we go. Mm. Da, da, da. Daddy, mommy, your friends at school, me, we'll stand together to get through it. How can you be so sure of that? Because we'll be right here and here. Where are you pointing at, Dad? I mean, Grandfather? He uses a doll and points where, like, the no-no place. Show me where he touched you. <laughs> he pointed his finger to my head first, and then pointed at my chest. So stay strong. Promise? For a moment, he looked almost sad, pleadingly. But as quickly as it had come, the expression disappeared from his face. And he was all smiles once again. Promise. La la la. Upon hearing that, Grandpa let out a great burst of laughter and stood up. All right then, enough of that. How about I whip up some special homemade dessert? I know it can't accompany you at that new cafe, but we sure can talk and eat while I cook and do some paperwork. Homemade dessert? I'll race you to the kitchen. Hey, slow down there. I'm not what I used to be. <laughs> okay, so she's still crying. <clears throat> you will. You will meet the very home I love to see you in. Why? Why would you think I would be ready to take it? Especially after this. A surge of anger bubbled within me, but I quickly swallowed it. There was no use in getting mad, especially when the person in question was no longer here. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's hard to stay calm when you've left me with so many questions. Especially about what happened between you and Dad. <laughs> what am I doing? Talking to the a grave. My vision blurred and I suddenly realized I was crying. My face heated up as tears rolled down my cheeks. I'll bring you some flowers later. I, I miss you, Grandpa. I'll try my best to fulfill my promise I gave to you. <laughs> Even if the world might be turned against me. I left the grave, wiping my tears hastily so my parents wouldn't see. Well, it's time to head back home. I'll cook up your favorite lasagna when we get home, okay? Okay, let's look at the radio. 96.11 FM. You know darn well that is not a radio station. Thanks, Mom. However, my dad didn't speak the entire drive home. I wanted to talk to him, but after his moment at the funeral, I wasn't sure if that was a good idea. It's about time we took off those dreary black clothes. Gathering my courage, I decided then that it was time to talk. Dad, could I ask you something? Go ahead. Why do you want me to move into the estate so soon? I thought I made that rather clear. The college near your grandfather's house is well known for its business program. You are planning to major in business, yes? What if I want to major in being a stripper? <laughs> it's like, no, don't do it, no. Right after you graduate from high school, you'll just live there and can easily commute to and from school. It's a perfect fit for you. But it's so sudden. You just decide so quickly right after the funeral. I mean, man, you didn't even give me time to cry. Uh, don't be so sensitive. 
If you're like that in the real world, you'll be crushed. Wait a minute, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Oh, sorry, I had to get some water. And then parents came in and started talking, if you heard that. <laughs> ah, so unprofessional. I love it! It just shows how human we are. Anyway, let's continue. I'm just saying that maybe we could talk a bit more about my future. In reply, my father rubbed his temples and sighed quietly. After you graduate from college, you'll work at Anderson Family Toys. I have connections since I am part of the board of directors, so you will be guaranteed a spot. That is what we talked about before, yes? Ah, water. But, what if... Stop mumbling! But what if I don't want to work there? Don't be silly. It's the family company. Our company. I'm not just going to hand it over to some incompetent vice chairman. He came close to me, his face softened. Look, this is all for the best, okay? You may not know it right now, but you will appreciate it later. Excuse me. For some reason, when I heard him say that, something snapped in me. I wasn't exactly sure what it was, but it made me feel so angry. Do you even care that Grandfather passed away? Of course I do. Well, everything seems fine and dandy to you. Things couldn't be better. Excuse me? I don't like your tone, young lady. It's not like even... <laughs> it's like nothing even happened at all. Like you just ignored the fact that he's no longer here. Do not raise your voice at me. What did he ever do to deserve this? My father, oh, excuse me, my father, his face hardened, crossed his arms and erupted in angry laughter. Ha! <laughs> you sure place him upon a pedestal, like he's some kind of venerated god or something. It makes me sick. Ooh, it just got dark. Is that it? Are you happy seeing Grandfather dead while everyone was grieving? Were you holding yourself back from laughing in everyone's faces? Did you feel just a bit happier seeing him lie in the graveyard? Oh! I felt hurt, too. <laughs> I felt that sting. Ah. A flash of rage crossed his face, and he whipped the back of his hand across my cheek. You don't know anything! Running your mouth like somehow you know everything that went on, when you're just a little girl that doesn't know how to keep her mouth shut! You did not know my father! 
You did not know what he was capable of. Is everything all right? What happened? <laughs> I like the mom's like, like that that face she's got. She's like, I, it's not like I heard someone get slapped on the other side of the mansion. When anime people do their slaps, you can hear it from another country. You hear that, and you're like, ooh, someone just got slapped. <laughs> Nothing. I'm not hungry. I think I'll just go upstairs. Honey, wait. I quickly turn and ran up the stairs to my room, slamming the door behind me. My breath became in short pants, and for a while I just leaned against the door to my bedroom, eventually sliding down to sit against it. How did things become like this? My cheeks still throbbed, and I tentatively stood up and looked at the mirror to see how it looked. Hopefully it doesn't bruise. <laughs> what am I saying? Tears formed in the corners of my eyes, but I blinked them back rapidly. I couldn't cry for the second time today. I had to be stronger than that. Are you all right? Your father told me nothing happened, but you know your father. I'm fine. I just lost my appetite. The lasagna's done, though, and I don't want you skipping any meals. Are you sure? Yeah, don't worry about me, Mom. I'll just come downstairs later to eat. You're not telling me the whole story. I... I just don't want to eat right now. Please, dear. Tell me what's going on. I wish you would tell me why you're being like this. I wanted to tell her. A part of me was screaming to tell her what Dad had done at the same time. I knew she couldn't fix anything. Besides, I was moving out regardless. I remained silent, letting the, ev the event remain in the past. Well, I'll leave your food on the table if you want to eat it later. Finally, my mom left me alone. It was strange to think that she was only a few inches away from me, only se separated by a single wooden door. It really didn't, I really didn't know what to do. I needed to do something, anything, to get my mind off what was, what just happened. Anything would be better than thinking any more about the pain still radiating from my cheek. I was going to move into my grandfather's house tomorrow. I should probably pack myself so I would be prepared for tomorrow. Yeah, that was a good idea. I should start packing. I opened the closet, rummaging around, rummaging around for a while before I finally found two large bags. Pulling them out onto the floor of my room, I then began to empty my drawers and cabinets so that I could bring my things with me. I didn't have much to bring other than just clothes and some toiletries. It was kind of bizarre that I didn't have many personal belongings. It wasn't like my luggage was completely devoid of them, but I certainly didn't have many things in my room that I would miss if I suddenly left the house. I shook my head to rid myself of those thoughts. If I were going to be my new home, eh, if I were, if it were going to be my new home, it would have to feel like it. On my one way or another, I was going to make it home. What the freak? Just as I was packing my things, my soul began ringing and vibrating in my pocket. I slid my phone out of my pocket and said that it was slowly easy, uh, so while slowly easing myself onto the bed. Who could possibly be calling? Hey, Anderson, you there? Is everything all right? We were worried about you, so we decided to call. Ow! Sorry, I hit myself. Hello? I'm really glad you guys called. My voice managed to come out, though it was only a whisper. What happened? Are you okay? Well, I slowly began to tell him about the funeral that afternoon. A small silence followed when I was done re recounting what happened, and to my relief, Naomi finally spoke up. I can't begin to imagine how you must be feeling right now. I'm so sorry. Do you want us to come over right now? No, it's okay. My dad is in a good mood, so could we just keep talking on the phone like this? Of course! We'd stay on the phone until the crack of dawn. Right, Suzu? Yeah. We're always here if you need us. 
After all, we wouldn't be the awesome triple threat trio without you, right? <laughs> yeah. Triple threat trio? That sounds like the name of a gang. Yeah, I mean, we're all taking on the world together. We've got to sound somewhat scary, or else no one's going to take us seriously. What's with you in naming things? You've got to step up your game, Naomi. Falling behind to the cool kids like Anderson and me. Tisk, tisk. Hey! I'm a cool kid! If anything, I'd say you have to step up your game! Ooh, she said you weren't a cool kid. Two Ks. We chatted cheerfully about all sorts of things. Very soon I had forgotten about the events of that day and was engaged in a conversation about Naomi's favorite TV show, some program called Hairlock. Hairlock? Come on now. We all agreed that the actor playing the tutelar character certainly had a very dis distinctive look about him, with that long overcoat and scr sc scarf wrapped around his neck. We had many disagreements about what, what we thought was the coolest character. <laughs> yeah, he was really a high... Yeah, we're back. <laughs> oh my god, I can't read. <laughs> yeah, he was... He has really high cheekbones, and his eyes are pretty. Though I do have to say I prefer Jetson, as a bonus actor is just so sassy. My dog keeps coming in my freaking room. It's getting annoying. <laughs> I looked at the clock hanging out the wall and realized how late it was. Whoa, it's already 1 a.m. Sorry for keeping you guys up so late. I think I'm going to hit the hay for tonight. See you guys t at school tomorrow. I should probably shy and go to bed. I can't believe I stayed up this late just to talk to my friends. But it was really nice. Well, to the bathroom I go. I took a relaxing shine. No, nothing be nah, nothing beats hot water and the feeling of being clean. After drying myself, I promotely dressed in my pajamas and crawled into bed. <sighs> a nice hot shower at the long day. I'm so glad to finally be in bed. It had been a really long day. I knew that I was wishing for something to change back in class. I certainly wasn't expecting any of the things that happened today. And I have to go back to school tomorrow. <sighs> I curled up on my side and tightly wrapped the blankets around me. I really wasn't in the mood to be returning to school, but my dad probably would make me go just for the sake of it. It's time to go to sleep. I reached out to the lamp on my nightstand and turned off the lights. However, my mind was so lost in the passing of my grandfather and the thought of inheriting something so big that it haunted my mind the entire night until the next morning. I shook my head to try to clear the sleepiness out of me to no avail. I really didn't get any sleep last night. It's already time to wake up. Wait, school! As soon as I realized I had to go to school, I slipped out of bed and looked at the vanity mirror. Mira, Mira. That's a relief. Uh, luckily, there was barely a bruise on my cheek. You had to squint to actually see it. I don't anyone actually notice unless they lean in really close. Breathing out of a sigh, I got dressed, took my backpack, and caught the bus to do, go to school. It wasn't even hours before everyone heard the news. I was approaching the school and giving condolences for my loss. However, that wasn't what shocked my friends. Wait, so you have the whole Anderson house to yourself? Lucky as hell, man! <clears throat> Quit being so sensitive, Naomi. Quit being so vulgar, Suzu. Ooh, fight, 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 fight. Why would I... What? Suzu's right, Naomi. Naomi's right, Suzu. Well, it is a sensitive subject because it's not something I really want, so... Oh, man, come on! See? She knows about proper public taste. I know how to be a lady. Sheesh. Guys, I'm going there after school today because my parents want, want me to get used to living there. Seriously? It hasn't even been a day since you came back to school. I know, but my parents want me to try living there as soon as possible. Make sure, you know, I got everything situated, you know. Still, that's really fast. Are you going to be okay? Of course, I'm going to throw a house party, get all the butt touching, touch all the butts. Remember you did that last time? Shh, 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 shh. We don't need to talk about that. We don't need to speak of that day. 
But even the comfort of my best friends, life seemed to keep testing me. Ah! Why? Not my butt. It's coming back to me. Hey! Don't go around shoving people like that. Whoops. Did I strike a nerve, Capini? Ooh! She looks like a man dressed up as a dude. <laughs> man. <laughs> she let out a small laugh and she twirled her hair around her finger. Lizette, one of the last people I wanted to see today. And my god, like, if you weren't so in the way, I would not, like, push you to the side. Snap, snap. Ah, y'all. Yeah. She's like that annoying blonde that just, like, you think she would get laid by 50 jocks. <laughs> and you think she would have an abortion or two, but she's just, like, she's just that sad girl who goes home and cries in the corner. It's not me you should be apologizing to. Oh, Anderson. Hey, how's it going? You like my fabulous hair in my smooth skin when I touch it? And Anderson's like, but I, I, I'll touch your butt. <laughs> and our friends are like, why would you want to touch her butt? I love touching butts. I'm alright. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> haven't you already heard, Lizette? Of what? Her grandfather's passing. Ah, uh, well, I'm sorry about that. I don't really watch a lot of news. <laughs> it doesn't really sound like you mean it. I do mean it. Earnestly. Why wouldn't I? Because you're a boo Typical Capini. Isn't her family involved with the Mafia or something? I wouldn't be surprised if she brought out the bat from behind her back right this moment. Oh snap, what? I had nearly forgotten the crowd that followed Liz Lizette, which was mostly com compromised of people... <sighs> I had nearly forgotten the crowd that followed Lizette, which was mostly compromised of people that no one wanted to see on a typical school day. No one had the slightest idea why exactly they followed Lizette around, precisely, but they labeled themselves as social equals with her. That is out of line! Suzu comes from an honest family! Says the one whose family profits from political scandals. Ooh! I'm not even supposed to be on that side. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, your dad doesn't make anything unless he's in the courts with dirty politicians. Oh, so... See, if I was Anderson, I'd be like, hold, hold me back. Hold me back. Hold me back. <laughs> and then Suzu's like, no, 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 no. Hold me back. You see, you're about to whip out a piece. <laughs> like, Suzu, no. <laughs> ah. Hey, let's all calm down for a second, all right? I'm sure Anderson needs some time to recuperate. I mean, what just happened? We need to give her some respect. Just stop. Stop acting like that already. Like you feel sorry for me. Hmm? What are you talking about? I'm sure you're happy seeing me like this. You've already had everything you've wanted. And now seeing me like this, life couldn't get any better. Bitterness seeped into me. And words started flying out my mouth without filter. But honestly, I didn't care. I was so consumed by anger that I only saw Lizette in front of me. What exactly am I to you? Just another part of your obstacle course? Is that what I am? I'm sick of it, Lizette. I'm sick of all these charades, and I'm sick of you. Gas <gasps> rose from the crowd around her. <laughs> I don't know why I did a double gas. And I was brought back to the school hallway. Even my friends beside me looked at me in surprise. One girl looked like she was going to speak up, but Lizette held her hand up to stop her. There was an emotion. Emotion in her face that I couldn't quite make up, but I could see a form of pity in her eyes. No, don't you dare pity me. I looked away from her. I didn't want to see the emotion in her eyes when she was talking to me. She didn't have the right to look at me that way. I'm sorry. I know your grandfather passing away must have really taken a toll on your emotions. She stepped towards me and put her hand on my shoulder, giving me a tiny smile, as if for our old time's sake. But for some reason, I didn't feel comforted at all. Not that I was just angry at her, but the expression on her face. Blah, blah, blah. But the expression on her face when she leaned in close to me contorted in something complex. Something was different about her. I didn't quite place my finger on it, but something about her hand, her had definitely changed. Well, I'll be going for now. Track meet responsibilities and all of that stuff. See you later. 
Something about Lizette made me feel uncomfortable. I wasn't just angry, but also uneasy. What was it? I had never seen her like that before. But I decided to pay no further attention to it. Eh, <laughs> eh, eff it. She continued running down the hallway with her gaggle of, gaggle of quote-unquote friends. Her gaggle of geeses. I refocused my attention to Mrs. Phillips, who was walking down the hall towards me. Is everything all right, girls? Nothing we couldn't handle, Mrs. P. Just a bunch of snobs. Oh! Suzu, hush! It was nothing, Mrs. Phillips. I see. Well, Miss Anderson, please accept my condolences for your loss. Thank you, Mrs. Phillips. Your grandfather was a good man. He really upheld the philanthropy of his company's policies. And the money that went towards charity, too. Oh, snap. Big words. It's like, no. <laughs> I know. He was amazing. I really looked up to him, and I want to be as good as he, as well, he was. Well, I know that you'll be as great as your grandfather. Hell yeah, she will. She'll be ten times better than her grandfather. Would I? Would I really be better than my grandfather? Everyone seemed to have high expectations for me. I wanted to do my best to make my family proud, but to be better than my grandfather. I wasn't sure, sure about that. From outside the school window, I saw a familiar blue car pull up to the curb. Undoubtedly, it was my father in the driver's seat. Let us save here. Yes. Well, that's all I'm going to do for now, guys. Man, I've been recording for a long time. We'll pick up after here. But it's a great start for being back. I got my computer. I'm recording. I'm still messing up. But that must make, that's what makes us human. And I can't read. But that's what also makes us human. <laughs> I stumble I read by looking by reading forward and I'm also reading back. So as I'm going along reading, I'm also looking forward to make sure I got the words there, but it messes me up at the same time. So it's really weird because I'm reading in my head, but I'm also reading out loud because I'm so used to reading in my head. So it's like whew, it's like a battle. But eh, it's all good. But I'll see you guys later. Uh, thank you for joining me, and I hope you guys are smiling. Hope this day is well for you, and it helps it keeps on going. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.